What's up, everyone? This is Jared and Nick from What Cheers Beer Reviews, and tonight we're tasting Alpine's Duet. Mm -hmm. What do you say about this one? Well, this is the other single IPA that Alpine bottles. This is the only other one besides the Nelson, which you previously saw us review. Um, so, uh, tell us about this particular IPA. So the Duet is a West Coast IPA, is what they define it as. Mm -hmm. It uses two different hops, hence the name. Um, they're using Amarillo and Simcoe. Mm -hmm. so should yep. Be, should be really good. It should be interesting. It should be delicious. The Nelson was fantastic. Um, like I said before, this brewery is just phenomenal. Um, and this is 7% as well? 7%, yep. So let's dive right in. Sure. All right, the appearance. Appearance, just like the Nelson, it was a little bit hazy. Um, a very, very fine yeast to yep. it. Um, you know, nice golden color to it. Nice bright, bright white head. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, really bright head. Um, you know, it had like some kind of bigger bubbles going around, going on, dissipated. You know, fairly, you know, quickly. But yeah. it's still hanging around, and it just really just looks like another classic example of an IPA. Definitely. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit hazy. So um, uh, let's let's it's get fun. an aroma on this. Sure. Beer. Oh god, that smells really good. Definitely a West Coast IPA. I mean, Amarillo and Simcoe are two very traditional West Coast hops. Amarillo's. Yeah, it smells like a really big West Coast yeah. tropical fruit. That, um, yeah, definitely. I mean, the tropical fruits definitely come from the Amarillo. You get that pineapple, mango notes, a little bit of citrus. Um, I'm getting a little bit of kind of piney, spicy... Yeah. Floral notes as well, yeah. which is what come from the Simcoe. So, I mean, it's a nice balance between the two. It really is. And it really is way more aromatic than I even expected it to be. And this is really cold right now, but, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's freezing actually, but man, this thing is, this thing is bursting with aroma. They got the orange juice, pineapple kind of thing. Um, some mango, mm. maybe some peach, um, Definitely a fruitiness, a fruity like sweetness coming up, coming off the aroma. Yeah, and it, it make it kind of just makes your mouth water. Um, it's, it tastes, it smells very refreshing. Like it's gonna be very refreshing. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Cheers, Cheers. man. Ooh, wow, that's really cool. Well, that's got some hops to it. Definitely some hops to it. And wow. I'm getting much more of the Simcoe on the palate than I do <clears> the aroma. Oh, I think the Amarillo dominates the aroma. And the Simcoe really dominates the, the palate. I mean, you get that super fruitiness on, on the nose, and then you taste it, and you, you get a little bit of it, but it's not too much. It's more kind of spicy pininess to it, which mm -hmm. is awesome. I do get more of the hot bitterness than I expected. But I like it. Um, mm. It doesn't follow the nose completely, like you said. Right. You're not getting a lot of sweetness. It has a really nice dry bitter finish, by the way. Um, very clean. Very clean. Very refreshing. You are getting the. You're getting the idea that it's like a really. It's made to be a really like big West Coast hot bomb. Yeah. But with a really nice kind of softer aroma, like that nice tropical fruit notes. Yeah. But, I mean. Up front, I get a nice bright kind of floral pininess to it. Mm -hmm. it. It settles, you, you know, you take a sip, it's very crisp, it's refreshing. You get a little bit of bitterness to it, a nice clean bitterness. And you sit on it, and way in the back, way in the back, you get a little bit of kind of sweetness from the tropical fruit. Way it's in the back. Super yep. subtle though. And I do think that that, because this is a really fresh bottle too, we're getting like the, we're getting at the like maximum, you know, depth of it right exactly. now. Exactly. But um, this is really, I, I'm really liking this better yeah. than maybe a little bit better than Nelson. Better than Nelson, okay. I, it's hard, but they're they're yeah. really good. Two, yeah, two very different beers. The one thing that I really find to be uh, have in common with these Alpine beers, these IPAs, and uh, like they're really refreshing. Yeah. I mean, they're not they're brewed so well that they kind of have they're packed with flavor, packed with aroma. And then they just kind of go over your palate, nice carbonation, really nice dry finishes to them, and they're just clean and refreshing. I mean, yeah. and at 7%, I mean, obviously, you don't taste the alcohol. No, not at all. It's perfect. I think it's one of the best West Coast ones. Again, I get the feeling when I take a sip of this kind of beer, it reminds me back to the Lawson's, the Hill Farmstead. It has that very and natural, fresh feel it to does. it. Like down <clears throat> small, small batch kind of. It does. It's not it's not it's not like uh, the other West Coast breweries, IPAs. It's just not it's I think if you've had those kind of beers you know what we're talking about. That yeah. freshness, that 
cleanness to the to the taste and the smell because um, this is world class and uh, speaking of that yeah what do you think about the ratings I think we'll go right into the ratings at this point um so as with the Nelson mm -hmm. 98 on beer advocate 100 rate beer for this sure. um, so clearly both the Nelson and this are neck and neck as far as quality and likability um, what do you think have you come up with a number yet for me um, I personally like the Nelson a little bit better than this one. Um, I mean, I think, this is, I think this is absolutely fantastic. It's very, very drinkable. Um, like I said, the nose and the palate are completely different, which is a, I, I don't mind. I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I just wish the, the, sorry, the palate was a little bit more pungent. I wish I got a little bit more of that fruit, a little bit more of the hoppiness. <clears throat> so uh, because of that, I'm probably going to give her a 92. Yeah, I think we gave Nelson a 94, 95. 94, 95. Something. I believe. But, um, so, this one's a 92 for me. I think it's a fantastic beer, world class, but I wanted a little bit more out of it. So, what do you think? Yeah, um, I, I, it's kind of hard. I wish we did the Nelson side by side with this now, to be mm -hmm. honest. But, um, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think the. Um, as good as this is, and I really, really like this, it's world class, like he said. But with the Nelson, you had that little bit of a different element of the, having the um, having the rye, mm -hmm. and it was a little bit creamier of a mouthfeel. It was a little bit richer. Um, this is more dry. This is more hoppy, kind of for me anyway. Um, so I, I'd say maybe ninety three. Okay. Maybe like one notch down, one point down from the Nelson. But okay, sure, sure. Phenomenal stuff, guys. Really I, nice. Like I said, this is an awesome treat. I, you know, Alpine is one of the best West Coast breweries right now, and they are making some delicious uh, hoppy beers. Um, and I think in the future we're going to have to get our hands on pure hoppiness and even exponential, exponential hoppiness. hoppiness. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah, if you guys can hook us up with that, <laughs> let us know. But uh, thanks for watching. With that being said, yeah, you know where to find us. We'll see you next time. Another Cheers. Beer review. Cheers.